Hey Hornets, I'm Ray. And I'm Lanaya. And this is your weekly update. Hey yo, Trey, can I get a beat? Guys, third quarter ends April 9th. You need to hit submit on all of those late assignments now. The cutoff is midnight for all third quarter late work. On Thursday, selected students returned back to the school for the first time in over a year. This includes special education students of all grades and members of the graduating class of 2021 who decided to come back to school. All other students will return April 15th. I really, really wish y'all luck. Good luck. Happy Assistant Principals Week. Shout out to Ms. McDade, Dr. Bullock, Ms. Woolfolk, and Ms. Campbell. Check out the Fairmont Heights reopening letter posted on the school website. It reviews all the policies and procedures for those returning back so we can keep y'all safe. Period. Monday, April 12th is a two hour early dismissal for students. Teachers, you have professional development. Enjoy. Monday, April 19th, 2021. Do you not know what that date is? It's when the third quarter report cards are released. You better get to it. Or your mom will be taking your phone away. You know that. It is still not too late to participate in spring sports. And after this pandemic, we could all use a little fresh air and exercise. Join the team today. Attention seniors, the annual Fremont Heights High School Alumni Association Scholarship is now accepting applicants to apply for their scholarship. Let's get that money, y'all. You can access a scholarship application by visiting the College and Career Google Classroom under scholarships. Last but not least, the winner of the JRTC Candy Fundraiser is Cadet Sergeant Alonzo Perry. Coming in second was Troy Moore and coming in third was Valerie Sanchez. Great job, everyone. Once again, I'm Lanaya and I'm Ray and this was your weekly update. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and give us a follow on Instagram. Have a great weekend, Fairmont Heights. Oh, girl.